So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Amir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish the to lie. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Focus up. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, the quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person who didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. You found the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together.
The tip of one, yes. Very, very giant chisel. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Locked up good. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Enemies! At the ready!
Can you read it? To Njord we offer back the seas back. Ah yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that they loved and worshipped him here. Hey! Why didn't world trees that? Hi Sandy. Nicely done. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy.
Wow, that was uh, something that the uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you are getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <gasps> you let him touch this again. <sighs> Come on, then. <clears throat> So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water. He stepped between realms. Okay now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Just make sure you watch each other's bats in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. Building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking. Focus up, boy! Broccoli! <laughs> I came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war... so many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at <gasps> all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. <laughs>
Well, a stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? Going up, and what we need is all the way down there. Thick. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. I just leave smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to. Oh, I get it. Good. How are we going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip? Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck. You are welcome to suggest a different one. What now? Hold tight. seems ill-advised. Quiet head. Jump! That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. Collapse. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. Boy. What does it say? 
When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. I know that one. Winter that... Quiet, Head. Doesn't like music either. Got it. Do it. House. House. Sumar. Vetter. No. Do it. House. Var. Sumar. Vetter. Still nothing. Boy, the order from the song again. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. There. Vower, Sumar, Sumar, Vetter. Retrograde lads. What? Of course. The riddle. The answer is reversed. Boy. Vetter. Sumar. Var. Housed. The riddle. Winter is last. Here you go, brother. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. Boy. House. Suma. Bar. Vetter. Yes. Atreus. That word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thor. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Thor. 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 Head, how is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well... Turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them, always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I can't get to the bull!
Clear. Back to writing before the floor collapses. Thanks. The boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? Whoa. I have you. Right, you know that. Well, well. Good. We should keep moving. The chisel tip. Give the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. I'll get the key. 
kid, right? Father. Not now. Those are the guys we saw with Balder. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. And Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? They'll never even see him. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. You just can't help but break things, can you? I see improvement. Memory serves. The Jarl stone was just on the other side of that wall of ice. Focus up, boy! Something ahead. See, Lodge? He's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. 
Poor Fafnir. There's a fine well, line between ambition and greed. You I mean it. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. <sighs> Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. Us. What does Odin want? Oh no, don't care. Come here, Hathaway. You're done holding Daddy's hand. Shut up! Don't call me that! Ah! Yeah! Ah! Can't believe you've lasted this long. Those skinny little arms can barely hold the pose. I said shut up! Calm yourself. Looks like they need another lesson. Oh, 
mother ugly or something. She cut up your face so you'd look like her. Don't talk about my mother! Don't talk about my mommy. Don't <laughs> hey, listen to him, lad. Yeah. Trying to rail you up. Sons of Thor are welcome to try. Head! Sorry, overstep, yeah? Yeah! This is my favorite part. Oh, try again, asshole. <laughs> Boy's sick, he needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be all right. Where do you go, lad? <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. With that, we can carve the travel room to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. 